let's just continue here. What I'm going to be doing is this sort of uh, vertical air vent over here inside. I'm going to go to edge mode. I'm going to take this edge down here and I'm going to move it a little bit down just so it matches up better with that uh, object. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this um, polygon right here. I'm going to go to quick slice. I'm going to make my quick slice uh, somewhere over here in the top, like right there, for example, looks pretty good. What I'm going to do is select this polygon here. I'm going to go to inset. I'm going to give that a little bit of an inset. Something that looks like this is pretty good. I'm going to hit OK. What I'm going to do next is come over here to my perspective view. With this polygon selected, I'm going to grow to selection once, so I have all this selected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude this and pull it forward because I can tell from the image this kind of sticks out a little bit, something like that. Now I don't need this edge or this edge or this edge or this edge. So I'm going to hit control and backspace to get rid of those. So I end up with something a little bit simpler and cleaner like this. I'm going to go back to uh, my back view over here. I'm going to make sure I'm in edge mode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this edge and this edge. Let me go to the uh, connect tool real quick. I'm going to make a connection with one segment. Hit OK. I'm going to move that to about right here. Okay. Let me select this polygon. I'm just going to use the quick slice tool. It's a little bit faster than using the connect tool. So I'm going to make a quick slice right there. Now what I'm going to do is go to edge mode. I'm going to take this edge here. And I'm going to use the chamfer tool. I'm going to chamfer it about... Yeah, about 0.5 looks pretty good. It's not bad. I'll say I'm happy with that and hit OK. Now let's count how many holes we have here. Basically we have these holes, these strip of holes on the left and a strip of holes on the right. The one on the left has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 holes. And the one on the right has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? So let's do the one on the left, the one with the 9 holes. In edge mode I'm going to select this edge and this edge. And I know I need to go ahead and connect this many times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this several segments. So I need enough segments to give me basically an area for nine polygons. So about eight segments is going to work out just fine. And I can see that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine polygons, which is uh, good. Okay. Now for the other side, I'm going to do pretty much the, uh, the same thing. So I'm going to take, now this side's a little bit wider. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this edge here and probably just move it over here a little bit more to the right just to give it a very similar size. I'm going to take these two edges now and I'm going to connect these. Now I know this has eight holes so I'm going to reduce the amount of segments down but you can see that my edges here, my segments, don't line up with the holes too well. So let's do something to fix that. Let me give this thing about two segments and hit OK. That's going to give us a new polygon right here in the middle. This polygon. What I want to do is I want to scale this up so basically the top edge of that polygon and the bottom edge kind of line up with the ends of the holes right there. The last hole at, uh, at the bottom and the one at the top. Okay. Now what I can do is go to edge mode, select these two edges again and I'm going to go ahead and connect that I'm going to give this about seven segments and now you can see it just matches up a lot better. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight areas there. So I'm going to go to polygon mode and let me actually go to this view over here. And I'm going to take all of these polygons that I have here for this. Make sure you select all the correct polygons. And with these polygons selected, I'll go to inset. About this much looks pretty good. And I'll hit OK. Now I'm going to extrude this push it in like this. That looks pretty good. Let me go to a top view here, go to wireframe mode. You can see there's my polygons. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit delete to get rid of them. Then I'll go to edge mode. I'm going to take all of these edges. I'm going to go back to my perspective view here. And with all those edges selected, all I need to do now is chamfer this. And I can get something that looks very similar to the image. So I can hit apply and continue do a uh, another chamfer just to soften that up a bit render it out doesn't look too bad looks pretty good I'm gonna say I'm happy with that if you want to keep chamfering it you can no problem doing that so there we go we've got those uh, little holes right there but just to finish this off and make it look you know a bit nicer what I'm gonna do is I'm probably just gonna come in here 
and bevel some of this stuff out. So I'm going to go to edge mode. I'm going to take that edge there. I'm going to go to ring to get all of those uh, corner edges. I'm going to go to chamfer. And I'm going to chamfer this out just a bit like that. I'm going to hit apply and continue and do another chamfer like this. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to select two polygons there, go to modify selection, grab the entire loop. I'm going to go to properties, smooth that out so it looks good. Do some quick renders here just to make sure that you don't have any triangulation errors. If you do, you've already seen several techniques on how to fix that kind of stuff. So that doesn't uh, look too bad. So I'm going to say that I'm happy with this and move on to the next part. So I'm going to end this video here and in the next one what we'll do is we'll start working on this bottom area over here where we have this pretty crazy looking air vent over here so we'll see technique for getting that done as quick and easy as possible